Okay. Contestants in the run and bikeathon run for a specific a specified a specified length of time, then bike for a specified length of time. Jason ran and ran at an average speed of 5.2 miles per hour and biked at an average speed of 20.6 miles per hour, going a total of 14.2 miles. Seth ran at an average speed of 10.4 miles, significantly faster on the running there, and biked at an average speed of 18.4 miles per hour, a little bit slower on the bike, going a total of 17 miles. For how long do contestants run and for how long do they bike? Okay, so this is one of those races where you just have a time limit and it doesn't matter how far you go. Um, okay, let's. so we need to create two equations like we always do for these. Uh, we have our Jason equation. Jason ran at 5.2 miles per hour. We'll call uh, running X. And we will call biking Y. And he went a total of 14.2 miles. And I'm going to go a little bit quickly through these because this is for your, your, I really just want you to have the answer to make sure that you know what you're doing. Uh, Seth, let's get a little bit of room. Let's do this. I'm going to put Seth over here. So Seth, he ran 10.4 miles per hour and biked 18.4 miles per hour. And he went a total of 17 miles. It's nice of him to get a nice even number there. All right, so we need something that matches up. Well, um, our Y values are pretty close. I mean, we would have 18 is not going to go into 20. 20 is certainly not going to go into 18. We could multiply them by each other and get really big numbers. Uh, but let's look at the other number, 5.2. 5.2 does go into 10.4. Luckily, Seth ran at exactly twice the pace of Jason. It's like it was for a math problem or something. Uh, so let's multiply our first equation, our Jason equation. Let's multiply everything by 2. So 10.4x plus 41.2y is equal to 28.4. And let's put this one uh, above, and again, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna put this one above my other one, plus 41.2y equals 28.4. And we're going to subtract these, should have changed colors, 10.4x minus 10.4x, those go away. 41.2 minus 18.4, I probably should be able to do that one, but I don't, 13. anyway, 41.2 minus 18.4 gives us 22.8y. Twenty two point eight Y and that has to equal twenty eight point four minus seventeen equals eleven point four. And if we divide both sides by twenty two point eight, then Y equals one half. Okay, so we'll come back to that y equals one half. We're going to plug that into our equation, whichever one we want. Let's plug it into, I don't know, let's plug it into the red, the first red one. So we're going to do 5.2x plus 20.6 times one half. I don't know why that became a three. Equals 14.2. Um, if you are curious, you could plug it into this other equation as well. That would be fine. Uh, I'm going to do some math now. 5.2x plus 20.6 times 1 half gives me 10.3 equals 14.2. I'm going to subtract 10.3 from both sides. And 
14.2 minus 10.3 is 3.9. So we have 5.2, 5.2, um, we have a pen that is not cooperating, 5.2x equals 3.9. Divide both sides by 5.2. And x equals 3 quarters. OK, so we want to know, do those make sense? Uh, so they ran for a certain amount of time. In this case, they ran for 3 quarters. What does that mean? and they biked for one half, what does that mean? So we know that it's a time, it's an amount of time, and if we look at the problem, he biked or he ran for at 5.2 miles per hour and 10.4 miles per hour, it's miles per hour, okay? And so if we're looking for a time, that means this is an hour, so three quarters of an hour, so it's three quarters of an hour, which is 45 minutes, and then the other one was half an hour, so 30 minutes. So in total, the whole race or whatever it was uh, would have been an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, uh, hopefully you see all that. If you have any questions, I am always available to answer those.